What's up, Virgo? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance. And I'm back with your first half of March 2020 Terrascope Love Readings. So I hope February has treated you guys well. We're heading into March now. Time is fluid, so it's energy. Yes, this is marked for the first half of March. But of course, different people are on different timelines, so... Take it as it resonates. This could be old energy for you, giving you a little bit more clarity than what you had before. Or you could be right in the thick of this and this can be confirmation. Or this can be giving you a heads up for something that could be happening in the future. Okay, Virgo? All right. So, while I'm calibrating the cards here, energy, here's your opportunity to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another video. Go ahead and like the video. Leave your comments and opinions down below, and we are going to get straight into you all's video. All right, Spirit, as it pertains to the energy of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March 2020, Spirit, what are the most prominent messages that need to be conveyed at this time for the astrological sign of Virgo? You guys are doing some mending and regenerating, okay? Wow, okay, so major deaths and rebirths around here. <clears throat> mending and regenerating okay redefining yourselves here from scratch from the ground up cleaning up and going the distance and i see that you guys here you are allowing spirit to have a prominent voice in your life right now and just kind of lead you so i feel like you kind of on autopilot right now um maybe you have done the cognitive work before now but now I feel like you have had your tower moment. You have broken your foundation all the way down to the nitty gritty. And now you are rebuilding, regenerating. I feel as though if there has been any generational upset, like, you know, perpetual behavior, perpetual downfalls, failures, um misfortune i feel like you are in a sense the one that's starting something new a new type of legacy here i feel like this is curing generational things i feel like it's curing childhood traumas which essentially changes your paradigm as a whole when you heal that child within you heal so much within your life including finances love and everything else Okay, so we're going to start clarifying some of this because you guys got a lot. <clears throat> for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is men mending here for the first half of March? Yes, it's a lot of people that's getting away from petty energies. I mean, the Five of Swords and the Five of Wands have literally shown up in every single reading that I've done so far. Why is the mending card here, Spirit? And I do feel like this is this is healing from people like that. It's healing from the type of people that were so selfish that they didn't care about your feelings. Reclaiming, reclaiming power over your life with the emperor here. So you are really, really taking control of your life here. And like I said, death and rebirth, you guys are having a transformation, regeneration. Why is your regeneration here? Yes. You guys may be having a lot of sleepless nights at this time. You could be going through the dark night of the soul or coming out of it. And your intuition is really heightened at this time. Why is chopped wood here, spirit? That's speaking to that cleanup. After that dark night of the soul where you can barely do anything, you are coming out and you are ready to take action and move forward here. It's time for you to use what it is that you've learned during this period of time, period of solitude, and move on it. You ready to take action, but I feel like at this time, you are also, you are taking action, but you are, allow, you are allowing spirit to order your footsteps. Why is the go the distance here? For Virgos, I'm very tense in my shoulders. So I don't know if you guys are experiencing that, but I haven't experienced anything like this. So it's a different feel for me. You going the distance is definitely getting you guys the recognition that you deserve at this time, no matter what it is. 
you know, maybe <clears throat> from all of the things that you have learned in solitude, you are just feeling a level of success, um, especially coming out of any type of dark night of the soul you could have been going through. Because we all know that spiritual depression can be pretty long. This came out in a reverse and it flipped in the upright. Spirit has said, I'm not allowing you guys to claim any further um, depression in this situation. At this time, you guys are healing and coming out of depression. You guys are finding your soul tribe here. Uh, wishes, dreams, and aspirations are coming to fruition. And you're definitely feeling like it's guided by a higher power. Why is serendipity here for Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Moving forward. Moving forward and allowing your footsteps to be ordered here. Yes. <sighs> this is love on so many levels. This could be new romantic love, but this could also be a lot of love for yourself at this time. Love and compassion and vigor for those. Wow. Not only the Ace of Cups, but we got the Ten of Cups here. So this is definitely you moving out of a period of stagnancy and taking control of your life and reclaiming your life and rebirthing your life. And even though you may have had to go through some type of situational depression or some type of spiritual depression, I feel like you made it out on top because you literally found what it is that you are seeking. And in the end, at the bottom of the deck, we have the 10 of swords in reverse. So it's all up from here. Okay, so we're going to pull some additional energies and clarify those for you at this time. I'm really tense in the shoulders, guys. Virgos, relax. <clears throat> it's time to take some days off of work or go see a chiropractor or something to that extent because my back is hurting and my back don't ever hurt like this. At least not in a very long time. Okay, Spirit, can I get additional energies for Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. For the first half of whoop, for the first half of March. Jeez, I mean, for the first half of March 2020, spirit. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Oop. Okay, yeah. Things are really transpiring for you in this season here. Okay. You have some unfinished business somewhere. I feel like there is definitely a sense of somebody coming back to rebuild from a tower moment here. Somebody wanting to resurrect something. I feel like your intuition, I feel like you can feel this person coming towards you. This is the second time the high priestess came out for you guys, Virgos. So y'all, you all's intuition is at an all time high and you can feel that there's unfinished business or that somebody's coming back. Like I said, you know, maybe you guys have been on a break on a silent period here, you know, just kind of not knowing which way to go hanging in the balance here. But I feel as though at this time you were feeling like releasing this person. There's a sense of this person being non-committal and just simply not on your level when it comes down to the type of love relationship that, that you really do seek right now. Mm -hmm. And they have you unconfident. It's kind of crazy because y'all both in reverse. Y'all counterparts in reverse. <laughs> But that's the thing. They're not even facing forward. You are, you know? So maybe they got you lacking confidence because of the things that they up to, you know? All right. Virgo. Yeah. You looking out into the horizon for something new, I feel. There's a sense of you wanting something new, a fresh start, possibly to relocate, if not at least a vacation. But you just want more passion. You want more fire, adventure in your life here. Yeah, you want that success and attention and accolades. Like, I feel like this has been a long road for you. And you don't want to go back to somebody that gave you a lack of recognition to begin with is what I'm getting. This person broke your heart. And this is not in reverse. So I feel like your heart is still broken. All right, lovers in reverse. There's a disconnection here and also a decision that's being made at this time. And I feel like with it in reverse, there's a sense of keeping it apart here. Keeping it apart. Maybe you guys have to come back together to just close this cycle. 
Why is the high priestess here? Yeah, your intuition is the key to a lot of things for you. As you can see, the door is wide open. You know that you're free from this. You know, you just had to do some inner healing and some inner growing at the time or whatever. And now wishes are coming in for you. Regardless of what, whether it's with this person or not, I feel like things are, are coming to fruition for you. Why is the tower here in reverse? Yeah, it's the male energy, masculine energy that wants to come back and rebuild the situation. Why is the four of swords here? Yeah, and you were hurting. Oh my gosh, it took a lot of healing. And I feel like you finally, <laughs> for the most part, you coming out of this here. You allowing to let this person go even though you love them. Like, I don't even think that you tell them that you still love them. Like, they may think that you absolutely freaking hate them. But in reality, you fronting. You still love them. But I feel like at this time, you are all about the protection of yourself, which you should be above all. Okay? You don't want to be left in lurch again. Why is the king of wands here in reverse? Yeah. This person left you feeling lack. Now, if they didn't steal from you, they just gave a whole lot less than you. They didn't show their feelings or emotions. Why is the two of wands here? I feel like even if you leave, if you got... There's hope on the other side of this for you. I feel like at a distance, you got somebody that you can be loyal to. And you ready to take a journey towards them. This person is loyal to you as well. You see them as a star. They see you as a star here. And I feel like you sneaking towards that star. And you just looking back to make sure you don't get caught here. Okay? Alrighty. But there's just a sense of you just feeling like this is unreconcilable. Like you just can't fix it. Even if you wanted to, you know? But this person just had you too out of balance. And now that you've healed, you're not willing to go back there. All right, any additional advice for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? You growing too much. Yeah, you outgrown. And it's a lot of people outgrowing relationships. You got faith that there's somebody out there that can be just as nurturing to you and loving to you. You are ready. I feel like your biological clock is ticking, so you don't have time for the playboys. You need that person that's serious about the relationship that's going to be a serious partner, a serious parent. You have boundaries that you feel like this king of wands in reverse definitely was crossing. So at this time, you just deciding to stay in your bubble and wait until the right person that you can grow with can come along. And it's so funny because it's literally globes in both of these. You know, earth is in both of these. So it's like you looking for somebody that's down to earth, that's not just ripping and running the streets, painting the town, painting the town with a ping. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you looking for a more grounded type of energy. Okay. All righty, Virgo. So that concludes your reading. I really hope you like it. If you did, please don't forget to join the tribe. Um, hit that subscribe. Go ahead and ring that bell. Give it a big fat thumbs up. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below. And I'll check you guys out on the next video.